Hi everyone! Welcome to a little video that's a review of normal histology in case you haven't thought about this since HSF. So going to the digital slide site, signing in as a guest, let's browse images and let's go to the normal histology folder and we're going to look for slide number 69, all right, which is normal living. Let's take a look at what we can find. Zoom in here and remember there's a lot going on with the livers. Here's a good area. So this is going to be our first area to really focus on, which is the portal tract or portal triad. So what is contained within the portal triad? Well, it's got three main important structures. So can you identify what these three structures are here? Let's zoom in a little bit to see what we've got. Here we've got a structure. It's one of the smaller structures, same in size as this one. It's got cuboidal cells, a single layer of it. They're relatively round nuclei, sort of monotonous in appearance. They all look the same to each other. So this is the bile duct. So in the portal tract, you this is really where we're going to see the bile duct, and you may see one profile of the bile duct, like what we have here. You may see a couple different profiles of the bile duct. You may see it here, see some over here, all throughout the portal area. You even have about 20% of the portal triads or portal tracts won't have any bile ducts evident in them, even though it's not a ductopenic liver or it doesn't have any loss of bile ducts. What is similar in size to the bile duct is the artery. All right, so the artery over here, how do we know it's an artery? Well, it's got that thickened muscular wall. So the artery, these are branches of the hepatic artery that we see in the portal tracts. Finally, the last important structure, which we can see down here, is the much larger structure and it doesn't have that thick muscular wall that we saw up in the artery. Okay, this is, what is it? So this is the branch of the portal vein that we see in the portal triad. Another important thing to note and really important I think for the pathology, the liver pathology lab is we see some inflammatory cells, these look like little dot-like lymphocytes over here, but we don't have very much in terms of in inflammation within the portal tracts. When we start to see lots of inflammation in the portal triads, that would be something to be concerned about. What you're going to hopefully notice is there's some cases that have pathology where there's inflammation in the portal tracts. And in some of them, you're going to want to note, does the inflammation extend out of the portal area, which is really, you can draw almost a circle or at least a smooth line surrounding the portal area from the adjacent hepatocytes. So when the inflammation goes from being just contained within that portal area to spilling out into the hepatocytes, into the lobules over here, then we get something that's called interface hepatitis or piecemeal necrosis, and you'll actually see injury to the hepatocytes along what's called the limiting plate here. The bulk of the liver, right, is composed of hepatocytes. Hepatocytes, zooming in here, you have these cords, trabecular-like arrangement where one cell thick, separated by sinusoids on either side. They're polygonal. They have a fair bit of cytoplasm on them, these rounded nuclei. As you're looking around, oh, like this cell over here, you may even see hepatocytes that have two nuclei, and that's common, especially as a patient gets older. So in the sinusoids, like over here and over here, you may see red blood cells in them? I'm sure you will. Um, in this case, the red blood cells don't really come out very well, but I'm sure as you compare with some of the cases that we have in the lab this week, you'll notice that 
as well. Zooming out, seeing what else we have here. Well, here's an interesting structure. There's one that's like this. It's very elongated. There's one over here, a little less elongated. And when we zoom in on this structure, you should be asking yourself, well, is this a portal tract or is it something different? So this is actually the central vein, all right, also called the terminal hepatic venules, all right, and this is, how do we know that this isn't a portal tract? Well, what we don't see here, so we've got a large vein, all right, which we're going to see in either the portal tract or the central vein, but we don't have the artery, we don't have a bile duct here, it's just this venous structure. And when you think back to the microanatomy, of the liver. So here's a portal tract here. Remember the hepatocytes are going to be divided into zones 1, 2, and 3. And some of these zone 1's we could call periportal over here, pericentral, lots of different names for similarly dif for similar areas. So I hope this has been a helpful review of the normal liver histology allows you to get started right away when you're thinking about liver pathology.